businesses advertise their products to get the attention of customers. Just putting a product out there isn't enough to get the product off the shelf. In the modern competitive market, you really need to sell it through rigorous marketing. The commercial advertising industry does it at a massive scale as its goal is to attract the masses and earn enormous fortunes. Be sure things are not what they are presented as and propagated in this business. People in advertising resort to a lot of tricks which obscure the original thing and present quite a rosy picture. The commercial advertising industry is guilty of marketing from ice creams made of mashed potato to secretly augmented reality cars. We'll expose some of the shocking tricks used in the commercial advertising industry, so make sure you watch till the end and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. McFooligu In 1940, Richard McDonald and Maurice McDonald founded the infamous McDonald's food chain. For the last 80 years, the burger joint has become the favorite of millions of people all over the world. Approximately 69 million people visit McDonald's every day. Their burgers are alleged to be a bit underwhelming when compared with what's displayed on their billboards and screens. In 2012, when a customer asked McDonald's why their food looked so different in the advertisements, McDonald's Canada released a show-all behind-the-scenes video on their YouTube channel. It revealed how they get their quarter-pounder to look like a million-pounder. They used the same ingredients but with immense finesse. Their objective was surely to show all the ingredients inside. The process requires knowledge and expertise of a food stylist who prepares and arranges the food in an aesthetically pleasing manner. When ingredients are positioned for a campaign, the food stylist takes a hot palette knife and melts the cheese into perfection, and then some precision condiments are used, and syringing out of the ketchup and mustard into shapely blobs is carried out. The imaging specialist boosts the saturation of ingredients and neatens their placement. Therefore, it's not like the one offered on the go. They also have a slight discrepancy with their fries too, as allegedly they enhance their advertised fries by propping them up with a sponge and toothpicks. Ice Ice Maybe? The 1990s rapper Vanilla Ice indicated that ice is back with a brand new invention, fake ice. Real ice is rarely used in film and TV as it melts instantly. Additionally, its inappropriate cloudy white appearance makes it neither pretty nor sufficiently durable. On the other hand, artificial ice cream made from squishy silicon rubber, as shared by TikTok filmmaker David Ma, seen in this video, has several benefits. It superbly breaks into pieces. Resultantly, the food stylist has overwhelming control over the size and shape of the ice. It doesn't melt and can easily be manipulated, and it does not create noise, which is suitable for movie situations. Clinks and clanks of real ice can hinder the actor's dialogues. Movies and advertisements usually struggle with hyperrealism. As ice is not exactly cold, food stylists have made other improvisations for achieving a beverage that appears to be fresh out of the fridge and immaculately dripping with condensation. The food stylists load up a hypodermic needle with glycerine and tactically place their droplets. Glycerin is indistinguishable from water and helps photographers to capture the right shot. Food stylists spray a one-to-one -one mixture of water and glycerine all over the bottle, depicting the drink as fresh out of the refrigerator. Thirst Traps There are several tricks involved in advertising of hot beverages. Coffee is one of the most desired items, and reportedly global coffee market is expected to grow up to $155 billion by 2026. For attracting caffeine consumers in commercial advertisements, beverages are pumped up with liquid soap to achieve the large frothy gains. The soapy additive acts as an agent to maintain a frothy appearance for a longer time than actual and provide sufficient time for filming. They also use tampons. Food stylists take a wet tampon, whack it in the microwave and position it in or behind the food or drink for replicating the steam coming from the product when it's photographed. Advertisements containing cold drinks like wine are full of deception. Food stylists have their special cocktails. For red wine, a little bit of food coloring works well. And for Chardonnay, it's just water with a few drops of kitchen bouquet, which gives a golden hue comprising caramel and vegetable flavorings. It's more often used for browning and seasoning meat. Not just desserts. Cakes shown in commercials are not original, as frosting melts and cakes eventually sink, especially under hot studio lights. Food stylists can solidify the cake by adding layers of cardboard between the tiers, which helps avoid seeping of hot melted frosting. Cardboard layers are masked by another layer of frosting. Similarly, deceptive desserts and melted chocolate are also part of the same category. Emma Feigenbaum, a New York-based food stylist, 
once revealed that food stylists prefer to use a concoction of cleaning product, borax, PVA glue, and food coloring instead of real melted chocolate. It's a recipe for homemade slime. Unlike chocolate, slime neither melts nor hardens quickly. Therefore, it can be conveniently used to obtain the desired appearance. Whipped cream is also not an exception as real whipped cream is rarely used because it quickly turns into a running, sticky mess. Therefore, food stylists resort to using shaving foam which has a glossy appearance and durable structure. It works as a perfect substitute for whipped cream. Ice cream melts very rapidly and filming or photography would be a whole can of worms. Well, food stylists use mashed potatoes after adding a few drops of food coloring. They can transform potatoes into the pudding as they have a similar consistency, they're easy to color, and can be eaten if required. Robots Everybody prefers to have sprung and sprayed food items on display. It takes a lot of orchestration. Steve Gerald is a veteran taco tosser who might reflect himself as a visual engineer on his resume. Steve has a production company named The Garage, which has built incredible robot mechanisms used for creating popping, dropping, and actually showing stopping visuals. Steve confided about his favorite creation. He called it the deconstructed burger rig. You can see an impressive burger resulting from each ingredient suspended on a piece of string. It's edited in post-production and subsequently by a swift guillotine mechanism. The strings are slashed and gravity takes care of the rest. The Starbucks Method Starbucks staff at counters usually pronounce customers' names absurdly, which has ignited an online heated debate regarding the conspiracy. Proponents of conspiracy theory believe that Starbucks cashiers occasionally spell customers' names in an entirely absurd way, which leads to sharing hilarious faux pas with friends, family, and social media, which provides more exposure opportunities for Starbucks. However, Starbucks representatives denied the allegations. They claimed that their name-taking tradition was quite an innocent and fun-oriented manner to interact with their customers, and there was no ulterior motive behind it. A sense of bespoke personalization and ownership coming from a Starbucks beverage is probably a winning formula as the customers remain connected with the product and provide the corporation with a small personal feeling which helps in enhancing customer loyalty in the future. Not so real estate. Buying a house usually is the biggest deal we make in our lives, as per CNBC, the average price of an American house is around $300,000. Realtors resort to different tricks for tempting the customers. Their online pictures are generally misleading. These two photographs taken from the same spot in the room have a different impact on the size of the room. Wide-angle lenses expand space as the objects seem further apart and more distant. It exaggerates the size difference between the fore and background, leading to the illusion of the room being larger than the actual. Wide-angle cameras available on smartphones have further helped in this regard. Crip Erickson, a Colorado realtor, claimed that a nice smell is often used by the realtors to their advantage, as it attracts people. He also highlighted the importance of using music to set the ambiance. Driven to deception Purchasing a car is another unique experience. As per Forbes, an average brand-new car costs about $45,000. By 2030, the automobile industry is expected to reach around $9 trillion. The car industry has several advertising tricks. The most important amongst these is the Blackbird, which is a virtual transformer capable of shape-shifting into any car. The Blackbird operates like any other car and has a 360-degree camera and LiDAR scanner on board. The 360-degree camera captures the surrounding environment, whereas the LiDAR scanner makes use of laser technology for collecting the dimensions of nearby objects and buildings. By using CGI, the Blackbird can be converted into any shape and design of a car one can imagine. With the help of 3D motion captured from the 360-degree camera and LiDAR scanner, animators can create authentic reflections of the CGI car, leading to something virtually indistinguishable from reality. The adjustability of Blackbird provides flexibility to increase length, width, stretch out wheels and suspension to match the usual proportions of any kind of vehicle. Mostly car advertisements are shot much before the design of the car is finalized. Any adjustment in the shape of the car can easily be incorporated into the advertisement. The cost of Blackbird is just a fraction of vintage or exotic cars, hence it's much more cost-effective. During the 2020 lockdown, Kunal Kalkar, an Indian photographer, faced a predicament and found an innovative solution. He was in communication with Lamborghini for a photo shoot, but the arrival of the pandemic made his travel impossible. He decided to shoot the next best possible option, a toy Lamborghini by securing the 118th scale Lamborghini Huracan replica to a treadmill by a piece of string. 
He used the forced perspective technique for pulling off the illusion of a full-size Lamborghini. This technique makes something look closer from farther away, smaller, and in this case, toy Lamborghini seemed bigger, and to make the scene look quite realistic, Canal sprayed the car on the treadmill with water to imitate rain and used glaring lighting to produce reflections on the ground. Canal even used a ping-pong table net for the background. Canal probably resorted to Photoshop magic for making the colors seem real. Another magic shoot was by TikToker and filmmaker David Ma. He filmed his treadmill cruising car and made public his finished product. He created the illusion by resorting to dynamic lighting and forced perspective while adding a rig of shower and fog spray for giving an impression of a dramatic storm. Its result was quite outstanding, which made the mini BMW look to swap the treadmill for tarmac. Hair Goals We see shampoo commercials depicting incredibly beautiful hair, but in reality, no one has hair like those shown in commercials. Stylists commit several cardinal sins for achieving seemingly magical locks of hair. They use fake hair, employ extensions, hair pieces, and utilize anything which can forge the appearance of magnificent hair. In certain cases, they even do not attach their hair to the model's head. In this picture, a mound of hair is placed in the backdrop, and the model's hair is perfectly blended into it. Using the forced perspective technique, it creates the illusion of long golden locks. In other cases, stylists pump up the volume of hair by stuffing in a few styrofoam balls. Well, the most impressive and shocking trick is managing waves of hair dancing through the breeze. It's managed by two little green guys. These green persons in morph suits use the small green rods for choreographing the model's hair, which seems to be naturally cascading through the wind. By using green screen technology, these persons are subsequently edited out. While watching TV, we would never suspect such acts. We're sure the deception of the advertising industry has left you awestruck too. Do share your opinion in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our upcoming releases.